All right, what I want to do is show you how to use congruent segments to find uh, the value of PT. So PT is a segment um, between our points P and T. Now, it's important for me to, under to show you what congruent segments ha we have. So what I have is for the segment PT, I have a little dash. And for the segment TQ, I have a little dash. And what that dash represents is you could kind of say like their distances are exactly the same. But that dash represents, even without you know, sectioning them up, that dash represents that those are congruent segments, meaning they are equal in length. So since I know that PT is equal to TQ, what I can say is there, if this distance is equal to this distance, then whatever the values that I wrote in their distance, so unfortunately I don't have 23 equals 23, right? I've been given an expression to represent their distances. So what I can say then, as long as I know that PT is equal to TQ, all right, I can say, all right, so what does PT and TQ, or how are they represented? PT is represented as 5x plus 3, and TQ is represented as 7x minus 9. So what I need to do, if I want to find the value of PT, see the value of PT is 5x plus 3. What is it we don't know? We don't know the value of x, right? If I can find the value of x, I can plug in that value of x into my expression for PT, and I can actually get a numeric value. So by doing this, I get this lovely problem. 5x plus 3 equals 7x minus 9. Oh, so what we have to do is remember, going back to algebra 1, how to solve a multi-step equation. Remember, solving a multi-step equation, you're going to want to get your variable on the same side. So I'm going to get my variables on the right side. So I'll subtract the 5x on both sides using subtraction property of equality. And 7x minus 5x is 2x minus 9. So now I have a two-step equation, which remember, I always got to undo addition and subtraction first. So I'll undo subtracting 9, or I'm sorry, undo subtracting 9 by adding 9 on both sides using the addition property of equality. So 12 equals 2x, divide by 2, and I get 6 equals x. So therefore, now I know that the value of my variable x is equal to 6. So to find the value of pt, remember pt up to this point is 5x plus 3. But now, by solving it, by using the congruent segments, I now know the value of x, which is 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that in for x. And then I just need to solve. 5 times, or evaluate, 5 times 6 is 30, plus 3 is 33. So I can say the length of PT, or the value of the segment PT, is 33. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comment below.